Okay, cool. Uh, hi, this is DC Nessa, and I am here with my husband. Kevin. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, and we are here to lead you and your family through Phase 5. And Phase 5 actually stands for Faith Acts in the Home. And if, and if we are going to do faith at this time, we are going to do it at home, right? We're kind of all stuck at home, huh? Uh, and um, on Friday, Miss House and Ellie are going to be here to do Phase 5 with you. And in the days in between, we hope that you will just do it on your own, in your own families. Uh, and to add a little extra motivation, we are going to have a prize drawing for a family that has practiced Faith 5 this week and can answer a trivia question. So the trivia question is going to show up at the end, uh, but uh, the prize is pretty awesome. It's a gift card to Shipley Donuts. Kevin, you like Shipley Donuts? I do. What's your favorite? Uh, the plain. Plain. Okay, I'm no plain girl. Uh, chocolate ones for me. Uh, what's your favorite donut? Tell that to your mom and dad. There we go. Okay, let's go. Let's get started. Um, uh, all you will need is your Bible. So you might want to pause here and run and get your Bibles. And you'll need Faith 5 bookmark. I have a printed one, but we also have them on our St. Paul uh, website. And the link is going to be in the description. Uh, and you might want to make a space just a little more special and we thought we'd maybe light a candle. Kevin, would you like to uh, light a candle? Sure. Yeah, and you can also put a cross or something like that. And the time for phase five, you can do whatever is convenient for your family whenever you are all together. Uh, it might be at dinner or, you know, after dinner, whatever works. At bedtime is great. So uh, let's get started since it is phase five. How many steps do you think there would be? Probably five. Five. Can you show me five? Five. Actually, give each other a high five. Faith five. There we go. And step number one is... Share. Yeah. And it is share your highs and lows. So say it with me. Share, share your, your highs, highs and, and your lows. lows. And we are going to start with highs. And high is something really good that happened to you this day. Or even like moderately good. Because some days are better than the others. And there's a good, uh, and, and there's a power in sharing that with each other. So Kevin, what is your high today? I guess my high today was getting my security token from my company. Which is the final step in me working from home. So I'll be working from home now. With me. Cool. Uh, and my high today is uh, doing yoga this morning. So I actually spent like 25 minutes and just stretched myself out. And so now I feel all uh, really good. What's your high today? Hit a pause on your computer or cell phone and share your high with your family. Well, we are going to move right on into sharing our lows. Because the same way as we have highs, we also have lows in our life. And it's a good thing to share them with people who love us. And it's a good thing to share them with God. Uh, so, Kevin, what was your low today? Well, my low, uh, when I went to the office uh, to see the whole place pretty much emptied out. And uh, it's just, it's a brand new job. And I'm starting to make lots of friends there and really enjoy my coworkers. And now... I probably won't see him again for another, I don't know, month? However, oh, long, wow. however long this is going to last. Sounds like Kevin's missing his friends. And some of you might be missing your friends too. Actually, that's my low too. I'm missing my church friends. I'm missing all of you guys. It seems so quiet and strange. And, and that is my low. Uh, so hit a pause now and go ahead and share your low with your family and take as long as you need. Welcome back. Uh, we are going to move right along into step number two. And step number two is... Read a Bible verse. Yeah, read a Bible verse. Say it with me. 
read the Bible, Bible verse. verse. Exactly. And so the Bible verses on your bookmarks, they are all printed out. And so on one side, it's kind of more of an adult version uh, or teenager version. Uh, but then on this side, we have verses for families. Uh, so we are go with younger children. So we are going to go with the verses for families. And it's actually just one Bible verse. And don't be surprised if one Bible verse keeps repeating multiple days. Because what we want you to do is to learn it really, really well. Uh, okay, so Kevin, the Bible verse is John 9, uh, verse 5, B. And B just means it's the second part of the verse. Uh, and you can uh, uh, you can uh, go ahead and hit a pause right now and open your Bible to John chapter 9, verse 5. And it's always good to have several Bibles. So each of you, you might want to underline or something. Go ahead, find the verse. Good job finding that verse. Uh, Kevin, will you read it for us? As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light for the world. Cool. Do you know who said that? Jesus. Jesus, yeah. So uh, we read the Bible verse, and so that was step number two. Uh, now uh, hit the pause and read the Bible verse together as a family. And the third step is talk. Or as I say, talk, 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 talk. Say it with me. Say it with me, Kevin. This is going to be fun. Talk, 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 talk. He's not having as much fun as I am, but that's okay. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. Okay. And what you do is you basically talk about that Bible verse. And it can be done in many different ways. You might want to ask yourself, what does it mean to me? What is Jesus saying? What does it mean when Jesus says he is the light of the world? But you could also, for example, uh, draw a picture of it, or you could uh, put some sign language motions to it. And I thought, Kevin, that we could come up with some uh, hand motions for the verse. Don't look so scared. It's okay. I'm it's okay. Scared. Okay. So uh, what could we say for Jesus? Like, what could be a hand motion for Jesus? Okay. Jesus, I'll say says, right? With a mouth. And then I am, how would you show that? I am, and the light, how convenient that we have a candle, right? Uh, but we also could say it's like the light, or the light, or whatever you mean. And of the world, let's just draw a world. Maybe we can even draw a huge world because it is a pretty big world. Uh, hit a pause and come up with your own hand motions. Then the step number four is pray. And this is a hand motion for pray. Say it with me. Pray. pray. Awesome. And you just pray for each other. And a simple way to do that is just to pray for each other's highs and lows. And say, God, thank you for the high and help with the low. And so I'm going to pray for Kevin. And Kevin's going to pray for me. And, uh, and then you can do that in your family. And just kind of go around and pray for each other's highs and lows. And maybe the world and whatever else God puts in your heart. Uh, would you like me to start? Sure. Would you like to start? Yeah. Uh, dear Jesus, thank you so much for my husband, Kevin. Uh, thank you for his highs and uh, for uh, the way, setting up the way for him to work from home. I pray that you would bless his work at home. And I pray that you would help him uh, with his low as he misses his friends from work. Uh, remind him that you are his best friend. In Jesus' name. Amen. And dear Jesus, uh, thank you for Nessa being able to work out and for her excellent gift of health and fitness that she has attained and help her to get through missing all the wonderful people at church that have been so nice to her. Amen. Amen. Hit a pause and do a prayer in your family. And here we are, the last step, bless. 
So it's a sign for bless. Bless. And blessing means speaking God's good word over your loved one. And uh, make sure that you say the name of the person who you bless. Because, hey, that's a cool thing. Our name is God's gift. So here is what, how we do that. Do you want me to go first, or do you? And as a child of God, Jesus loves you, and so do I. And what Kevin just did, he drew a cross on my forehead. I know some families draw a heart and the cross. Hi, Joy. I know you do that. Uh, I'm going to go and I'll go ahead and bless Kevin. Kevin, child of God, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Now hit the pause and uh, bless each other. Have fun with it. You can do high fives. You can do elbow bumps. Welcome back and congratulations. You've just done phase five. Give each other a high five and say congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. Kevin. You just did phase five. Let's just quickly review the steps. Review it with me. Uh, step one, share your highs and your lows. Step two, read the Bible. Step three, talk, 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 talk about the Bible. Step number four, pray. And step number five, bless together. Meanwhile, do it at your home and keep an eye on that trivia question. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.